Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. Also, a billionaire investor Jim Breyer warns of nuclear winter for cryptocurrency. And Nasdaq Bitcoin futures will launch in first half of 2019. Just in case you are new to the channel, just to remind everybody that um, Ticker Foley is going to have an airdrop. Uh, they haven't announced the day yet, so this will be on the fourth quarter. Also, EOS Cafe is having an airdrop as well. December 25th will be the airdrop, which is Christmas, and December 21st will be the snapshot. So make sure you transfer your EOS out of the exchange to your EOS account for to, in order to qualify for the airdrop. Also, Bad Dice is having Lucky Draw every day. You can go to do Lucky Draw every day and you can get free EOS. Basically, this is a free EOS. Also, you can go to uh, Payout and stick your token to earn additional payout. And you can go to your balance to claim the payout once in a while. And it will automatically go to your EOS account. If you're interested, you can click the link below. Also, EOS Bet get the... Um, Casino uh, online gambling uh, license. So EOS Bet is also giving out dividends. So if you're interested, you can click the link below. You can check it out. Also, you can go to EOS Toolkit to air grab some of the tokens. So that um, right now you have this token, all this token available: Nibeline, uh, C token, Pro token, Tribe token, Risk token. And in order to air grab, make sure you have enough RAM in your wallet. Otherwise, you will not be able to air grab. And also, RAM is not free. It's not free. You have to pay for. You have to buy RAM in order to uh, put uh, RAM in your in your account. And be, so, make sure you have um, enough RAM in order to air grab. And uh, let's get to Bitcoin. So uh, this schematic diagram is basically um, posted by Willy Wu. So he put together this snapshot of the market's price action and the fundamental blockchain indicator. And here's the, uh, his most feasible scenario for the upcoming year. Not a map for trading, but should help long-term hodler judge when and at what price level you enter the market. So let's go to this schematic diagram quickly. So in here, um, in accumulation uh, phrase here is between 4,200 to 3,600 and it can go down to capitulation and capitulation is between probably around 2,900 to 2,200 and if this capitulation, this bear market ends in a certain capitulation move like the one that we have we had in 2014 and 2015 bear market, this is the best song for the uh, low for the low price and then this will be the end of the bear timing uh, using different ind indicator MET, BNM, NAS, MET I talked about this indicator in my previous video you can check it out and I will also put the link below also a uh, fundamental blockchain indicator like tracking coin movement, dynamics, um, age and volume of the hardware activity of the currently suggested uh, Q2 um, Q2 2019 will be the timing for the end of the bear market and the start of the accumulation phase. And this is a moving target and it can be changing from month to month. And so this is not set in, uh, set in, set in stone. This is, uh, it, it can be changing from month to month. And also, uh, all, and of course this is uh, below the 200 uh, capitulation, below the 200 day moving average. And then we, uh, Currently, we are we are below the 200-day moving average anyway. And so let's go to let's go back to this figure. So um so this is the uh 2019 accumulation bottom will likely uh, converge on this line. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> And also Bitcoin is that uh, scenario. So you can see like breaking down into a region that would, that would uh, cast the questions of Bitcoin nine year adoption S curve. So the press would definitely say Bitcoin is that in this region, which is from 1,390 to 620. So anything could happen. So in order to have a brew, uh, the next signal, the next uh, brew run, 
uh, you have to look for the price to cross above the 200 day moving average. So then also you have to look at the volume as well. You have to look at um, the green candles, uh, picking up the volume and all that. Then it will be signal the next bull uh, market. Right now we are not even there yet. So, <clears throat> so let's get back to. So let me know what you think. Uh, do you think um, Q2 2019 will finish this capitulation, this lingering thing, this stagnation of Bitcoin? Basically, right now it's stagnation. Um, and we'll go into a bull. We were starting the uh, bull one in Q2 2019. Let me know what you think. Please comment below. I would like to hear from you. And billionaire investor uh, Jim Abreu wants some nuclear winter for cryptocurrency. He's why he's remained unfazed. So currently they have some type of 2018 uh, global tech uh, forum in Guangzhou in a uh, in China, and. Um, so in case you don't know Jim Breyer, he is uh, he has a Breyer Capital, and he invests heavily in heavily in AI, artificial artificial intelligence. So he invested heavily in that uh, area. So he basically talked about that um, he remained uh, bullish on the blockchain business, and despite we have a, a bloodbath right now and all that, and he also uh, talked about that. Uh, we are in a nuclear win winter right now with cryptocurrency and um, there's a whole bunch of like boom and bust cycle just like uh, obviously cryptocurrency bubbles have popped uh, you know uh, since last year and also there's an AI winter as well so and uh, this is a very uh, well documented phenomena I mean everything has a boom and bust cycle just like in early 2000 you have a dot com us as well and he also invested in uh, Facebook earlier on when the uh, w when the shares of Facebook is very dirt cheap back in 2005 and so he's just saying uh, those are technology boom and bust cycle those are those are in, uh, inevitable uh, those are this is just a cycle keep happening every decade and stuff like that and he also talked about that uh, very he, uh, very best. Um, there's so many very best computer scientists and deep learning uh, PhD student and postdoc are working on blockchain because they have so much fundamental interest. What blockchain can really mean, and um, the thing is basically saying that don't bet against the nerd, <laughs> in his uh, in this article. So don't bet against the nerd. So another article I want to talk about: Nasdaq Bitcoin Future will launch in the first half of 2019. So do you think Bitcoin Future is good to the market, or is this another give them another instrument to manipulate the price? So uh, please comment below. I would like to hear from you. Bitcoin Future is just basically paper Bitcoin. Uh, to me, it's not good to the community at all. So, um. Yeah, I talked about this uh, when CBOE CME future contract launched last year in December. I already saying that this is not a good idea. This is not good for the institution. But a lot of YouTubers are so excited that uh, future contract will um, will will will, uh, will bring us to the Lambo. But obviously, this is the opposite. So so just be careful what you are listening, and also always do your analysis. Just be critical, be skeptical what's going out there. And I think a lot of Moon Boy back in December talking about how great this institution money coming in with the Bitcoin future, CBOE, CME, they're going to buy real Bitcoin and all that jazz. Even though back uh, they said they're going to buy big, a real Bitcoin, but if you understand what is with hypothecation and commingling, back is not a good idea. At, uh, the big, uh, back Bitcoin ETF is not a good idea at all. So because they're playing all these financial games, at the end, they're going to inflate the Bitcoin from 21 million probably to become uh, billions, not millions anymore. So uh, just be careful out there. And also, um, let's talk about the S-curve quickly. So we, they talk about S-curve. So for the S-curve, uh, this is like uh, every technology adoptions, they gone through the S-curve, right? So just like um just like uh cell phone or uh, credit card all that they go through the S curve. So innovators it's two point five percent, and then early adopters it's thirteen five percent of the market share. 
earlier majority is 34%, late majority 34%, and the laggard is 16%. Probably we are still in the early adopter phase right now. Um, if you see, uh, let's see, credit card. Okay, for credit card, it takes them 20 years, basically 20 years to have over 80% of the adoption rate, credit card. And um, so it takes about long time, you know, it takes long time for uh, mainstream adoption. So we are, uh, for cryptocurrency, we are still in very, very earlier stage right now. So if you're going to the S curve, uh, you can see the exponential growth of the cryptocurrency eventually. So just be patient, just uh, be careful out there and uh, always do your own analysis and don't listen to uh, people, uh, including me too. So you have to do your own due diligence. And uh, the market kept gone to 120, 120 billion. Uh, that is that is crazy. But just hang in there. And uh, also, if you haven't installed the uh, Brave browser, go ahead and install it because it's pretty cool. It blocks out all the advertising when I'm reading articles from Zero Hedge and all that. Sometimes there's a whole bunch of ad like popping up in front of my in front of my eyes, and I don't even want to see it. So if you're interested, you can click the link below. That will help on my channel as well. If you found this video helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. So make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you found this video helpful. Also, uh, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Uh, if you have already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop giveaway hub for ICO. Also, you can uh, follow me on Twitter as well. Remember crypto deep divers, we the people uh, take control of the money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO cryptocurrency has inherent risk. Please use a due diligence.